Hello, I'm Tom Dasso, and welcome to Look Back. This is where I go back and take a look at videos that I've reviewed a year, five years, and ten years ago, and tell you what I think about them now. So first of all, a year ago, didn't do any reviews because we were doing stuff live from the Gamma uh, trade show, so there's no reviews from a year ago, but five years ago, first of all, I took a look at the Dice Tower Lair, where I came in and took a look at our, the studio that we were using, which is actually quite different than the studio I'm using now. It was when I was doing it at my house, so I guess you can go take a look and see how things have changed. All right, so then, Western Town. This was a game about building up a Western Town. It was too complicated for how the game felt. The game was a fairly light game, but it was too complex rules-wise. Uh, then Menu Mashup. This was a fun game. Played with my kids. We just liked it because basically you're trying to make the worst item or the best item uh, from various foods for a menu. Uh, Reverse Charades Hollywood. It's kind of weird. Reverse Charades was really big five years ago. Don't hear much about it now. Reverse Charades is basically a bunch of people are doing charades for one person, trying to get that one person to guess stuff. And this one was done based on Hollywood. Adventure Time Card Wars. Now this one, of course, comes from a very specific episode of Adventure Time. So they made a game based on that, which I thought, eh, I don't know. But it turned out it was actually pretty good. Compound It. This is a great science game. It's on my list of science games, games to use in education and stuff. And Compound It was just really, it uses the periodic table to, uh, um, and you're putting together, well, the periodic table is the scoring thing, but you're putting together different atoms, working with people and trying to just score the best as you can. It's a really cool game. Then Puerto Rico. Now this one has gone up for me. In fact, I just played this one a couple weeks ago and it's amazing how this game just continues to stay fresh considering that the game is well, almost, I mean, it's not 20 years old, but it's coming up on the 20th year anniversary for it. It's just an amazing game. All right, so 10 years ago, I took a look at Kimaloe or Kimalo. This is from the same company that made the original edition of Jamaica. So it's kind of a pretty game. It's an okay game as you're just trying to move things on tracks. It has a nice theme, but there's not a lot more to the game other than that. All right, here's where I get into trouble. Battlestar Galactica, 10 years now. And you can see that it has a fairly hefty drop. Now there's a couple reasons for that. One is the game itself, as time goes by, my wanting to play a game that does this thing, that's that long, has gone down. Don't get me wrong, still very thematically strong, still, I, I mean, I still have a soft spot for Battlestar Galactica. The theme works really well. It's just that since Battlestar Galactica has come out, there are many, 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 many games that do the same thing. And I think Battlestar Galactica, I mean, they do, I think they do it better than Battlestar Galactica and in a much shorter time frame. All right, then we have Catan Geographies Germany. This is one that Sam always talks about. A really excellent uh, Settlers of Catan variant, and I really do think this is one of the best ones with the beautiful buildings that you're placing out. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Catan anymore, but this one still I would gladly play. Then Aberbet Mint Son, or the English version of this, Piece of Cake. Now this was just remade last year called New York Slice, a pizza version. The original version was pie. I did like the pie or cake, whatever. Um, really enjoyed this version as you basically take this uh, cake and you're splitting it into one part, and then everyone else chooses, and you get the last thing left over. And then you're going for area majorities or getting whipped cream. It's a solid game. I'm glad they remade it. I like it a lot. Uh, then we have uh, Ghost Stories. Woohoo! Ghost Stories still going strong. An amazing game. A great cooperative game. In fact, I they're going to be remaking the game. A uh, new anniversary edition of it, or actually a re-theming of it, from what I can tell. Looking forward to that. But until that time comes, Ghost Stories is still a great game. And I took a look at one of the expansions for Battleground Fantasy Warfare, Monsters and Mercenaries. This is actually one of the last ones they've done uh, for this game, which is a, a miniatures game, but all the miniatures are cards instead. Monsters and Mercenaries was great. Add mercenaries and monsters that you can stick in any army or play one big army full of monsters. It's probably one of my favorite factions, other than maybe the Lizard faction. It might be my favorite faction. I just like all the stuff that it adds. It's lots of fun. So those are the reviews that I did, well, not one, but five and ten years ago. Until next time, I'm Tom Bass, and you've been watching Look Back on the Dice Tower.